I'm standing by the Kalandia checkpoint between Israel and the Palestinian territories, right by Ramallah, where hundreds of protesters are demonstrating for land day, burning tires, throwing stones, and marching towards the border. Land Day is an annual protest against what Palestinians believe to be unfair Israeli land policies. As things were heating up by Kalandia, I tried to approach Palestinian teenagers throwing rocks towards Israeli soldiers in order to get some answers. What are you doing here today? Today we are protesting for the Arab Land Day. As violence escalated, with shots fired in the background, smoke and tear gas in the air, a Palestinian attempt to march towards Jerusalem began. We uh, um, declare that we are with Palestine and with the Palestinian people inside Jerusalem, with all the oppression they are, um, they are facing every single day. So yes, we are here in order to face this. I thought these would be peaceful, um, peaceful protests, and they seem to start getting violent. Yeah, did you see the guns over there? That is the violence. I saw the stones and the fire first, then I saw some soldiers trying to evacuate. Of course, of course there's going to be stones because we're not allowed to enter inside Jerusalem. Last year, in a similar scenario to this, protests took place in northern Israel on the borders of Lebanon and Syria, with clashes resulting in nearly 40 fatalities. Therefore, this time around, Israeli authorities have been on high security alert in fear of such deadly results once again. Thousands of Israeli soldiers and police officers were positioned here and around the state in order to maintain the situation under control. For this apparent purpose, Israeli Defense Minister Ehud Barak imposed a 24-hour full closure on the West Bank. However, this did not stop activists out here in the streets of Ramallah, with protests resulting in injuries, including media reports that Palestinian politician Mustafa Bar Guti was injured and taken to the hospital in an unknown condition. Along with the clashes, which turned out to be violent at this checkpoint, the IDF has prepared for trouble along the borders with Egypt and the Gaza Strip in the south, Jordan to the east, Lebanon in the north, and perhaps Syria as well. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv at Kalandia Checkpoint, Ramallah.